Welcome everybody to SMA Live in the morning. We qualify for the morning by two minutes because it's almost noon East Coast time. I wanted to bring a, a great guest we have on. If you guys watched our live stream from this weekend from the Quebec Open, I have the women's champion. Uh, we have Elise Gorel. Elise, congratulations, congratulations on your victory last week. Thank you for joining the show. How are you today? Good, thank you. How are you? That was quite an introduction. Thank you. Well, you know, there's a lot to say. I mean, you got to cover it. Let, let's just go briefly. Just for this year alone, you're the women's open weight champion for, uh, I'm sorry, you were the women's uh, overall champion for the Irish Open. Mm -hmm. And didn't you win open weight too? Um, or am I wrong on that? I yes, no, I won open weight and then I won my own divi oh, heavier division minus 65 and then I came second in minus 60. And just to continue things that we were covering, you uh, also just recently won women's open weight this weekend in the 2018 Quebec Open. I did. You also won the division. In fact, you didn't lose at all this entire weekend at Quebec. Not yet. It was a good weekend. And I know you're very modest. This, trust me, she, she, she's so very modest. She doesn't like talking about herself. But I got to bring you on just to, just to give you some props and everything. So, yes, that is true. She did win uh, not only that, but women's teams too, correct? Yes. With my um, with my teammate Michelle Antelik, of course, give yeah. her credit as well. Mm -hmm. So it's you know it, it's been a it's been a great year so far. Uh, what do you what do you attribute that to having such a great start for the 2018 season? Um, I'm not sure. Just everything is coming together really well. So it's just one of those years that everything is clicking and working. So. And so, for example, let's give everybody who doesn't know you. Let's give a brief introduction. Uh, you are from uh, Trevor Nash's school in United. Uh, I am actually from, um, I'm from Ottawa. I did most of my career, uh, martial arts career with Duvers mm -hmm. Martial Arts, which is in Ottawa. And then I, I moved for school. So that is now I'm training with United and under Trevor Nash. So Okay. And, you know, just to, just to peel back the curtain a little bit, why did you, why did you originally start the martial arts? What originally got you interested? Um, well, I was eight years old. I have three siblings so um we were all crazy and my brother got put in because he had uh, attention issues and mm -hmm. then they just put us all in so so are they are your uh is your brother still in or is he not training anymore no uh none of them are training i'm the last one so middle child you know have you, to you the sole survivor i think we talked about this for middle child so we you did never, you never like to take credit and i hear you doing awesome and amazing things uh, so I'm going to get you to talk about yourself just a little bit. You That's mentioned right. you, moved, uh, you moved to go to school. Are you still in school now or did you finish? I am still in school. I like to joke about it. I'm a professional student, so I'm just finishing up my master's right now. And in September, I'm starting my PhD. Oh, I, I, I like that. That's, uh, so Thank what, you. Was your, what is your master's? What uh, area of study are you? I'm studying applied health sciences. We're doing a bunch of stuff in um, sports psychology. Mm -hmm. So um, my thesis is on how social media will, may affect athletes' uh, self-efficacy, which is the way that an athlete perceives their ability, to put it simply. I think that actually that's an interesting thing. I'm glad you brought that up. One of the questions that I had thought about recently, for example, obviously social media, if you're an athlete, you're in the public eye, you can almost go 50-50. Like, for example, there are a ton of LeBron haters. Also, there are a ton of LeBron lovers out there. Here's a question for you, and I'm, it's going to make you think because you're this curveball. You're not expecting this. How do you th do? You think Muhammad Ali would have been so loved as he is now if he had social media during his rise? Think of how outspoken he was. I I don't know. I feel like that's almost like um, there's some people that use social media very well, and there's some people that do not. And I think there's a lot of examples in society right now, especially with the whole like Kanye West stuff that's oh, happening yeah. mm -hmm. that um, are showing that people, maybe they don't need social media. But that being said, like Muhammad Ali was like a brilliant speaker, but maybe if he like had social media all the time and like could say what he was on his mind all the time, that mm -hmm. might have not have been as good, but who knows? That is absolutely true. We knew that uh, one of the things he's most beloved for is being on the mic. And as he said, for, for the interviews he gave, you know, I'm the greatest, I'm pretty nobody's ever touched me. 
half the people wanted to see him win, but also you have half the people that want to see him lose. I think a great example of that is Conor McGregor. He's outspoken. Let's not talk about his behavior in New York over the past month, but he was outspoken. Uh, and that really earned his way into not only one title shot, but two title shots and also the highest grossing boxing uh, event in all time, if you can call it boxing. Of course, some people thought it was a sham, but that's another topic. But I think that's a very interesting topic. And uh, you, you know, you do have a social media presence. Do you, do you think you have a large social media presence or just bare minimum? Um, I do the bare minimum. You know, after studying social media all the time, it's really um, exhausting. So I actually have cut down a little bit. My sister's really into it, which mm -hmm. drives me absolutely nuts. But um, it's hard when you're like studying social media and it's like the same premise as if like someone says, oh, don't think of a blue elephant. Like what is the first what, thing that you're going to think of? First thing you think of, blue elephant, exactly. Yeah. So it's always on my mind. So it's kind of refreshing to put those boundaries up and not go on as much. That's true. So let, let's uh, let's steer towards your martial arts career uh, a little bit. How long have you been on Team All Stars? Um, I think maybe two years now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I first noticed, if I remember right, uh, we were at the um, so the Kumite Classics, and you you if I remember right, you beat Morgan uh, Plowden there, right. and that's when I first noticed you. And was it did you get on All Stars right after that tournament? Yeah, I mean, they let uh, they wanted me to fight with them, which was awesome. And then everything kind of just uh, fell into place after that. That is, uh, that's, I mean, you've been doing a great job on there. You're representing you. that brand very well. Of course, you, you have a great mentor to look up to, the great Trevor Nash. Yeah, he's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> he's he's all right. You know, yeah. he's, <laughs> you know let, let's go ahead and kick it to some of these uh, great pictures, which we will show. Let's see. This was, uh, I think if I'm right, if I'm looking closely at this picture, this might have been Kumite. Yes, uh, it was. This picture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we talked about this in Ireland. Uh, showing the guns pose is something you know you said you don't like to do, but you kind of do it just to, it's kind of become your thing. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's something you're definitely known for. We'll go ahead to the next picture. This is a great yeah. picture of you, Sam. Um, yeah, and, oh man, I, that's I, the uh, junior fighter and Sarah. Thank you. I forgot her name briefly. I was like, oh man, I'm grateful. We're on the same team. I couldn't remember. And, and, and Sarah, who's been doing a fantastic job. She's an adult this year, isn't she? Yes, she is. I think she even was like fighting a little bit in adults when she was in juniors. She's very mm -hmm. talented. She yeah, has a lot yes, of potential. She is. I've seen her, I think, if I remember right, at the WKC and also other events as well. Mm hmm. And of course, this just this weekend, you getting a nice award from uh, Mr. Mike McCoy, a promoter of the U.S. Open. Mm -hmm. for uh, winning everything. I think that, that trophy was for winning everything. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And, of course, the infamous picture right here. This is off of video, so I'll let you tee this up and go ahead and explain the next couple of pictures from your perspective. From my perspective? Um, well, it was <laughs> funny because there's a lot of ha stuff happening like during that time. Mm -hmm. I could tell you were busy. Honestly, awkward stuff happens to me all the time so as soon as I was like oh handshake and then like obviously you didn't see it and yep. you turned away and then I was like oh what do I do now and then me and my team had this like ongoing joke throughout the entire tournament where it's just dabbing with everything so I dabbed out of the interview so and I didn't have a picture of that but you're absolutely right and again for for the millionth time in a row I apologize for that because we'll getting... always have the dab Mallory we will always have that moment together <laughs> feel special if you guys haven't seen it go um look at the 2018 irish open uh the after interview uh it's uh you being an interview and also roman who won uh, the men's it is the most uh awkward moment that i can say i've had and you said you see you say awkward moments seem to kind of follow you yeah it's okay you just end up dealing with them fairly well i guess after a while well, it's I think okay. you absolutely roll with the punches correctly. So thank you. We're going to go ahead and bring this to a close. I know that you've got things going on, probably studying, uh, probably going mm -hmm. to see that great new Avengers film, which we talked oh, about. Oh, yes, maybe. And I and I like that you're social media conscious and you wore the sponsor shirt on the interview. That's oh, what I'm really <laughs> thankful This? I don't know what you're talking about, Mallory. It, this It's all about product placement. That's good. That's a smart <laughs> move right there. Let Thank me ask you. you one last question in closing. Where shall we see you next? I'm not sure. It depends on what my team would like me to do. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe closer in the near future. We will see. Well, I know wherever we see uh, you, it's going to be in the top 
uh, top two probably won again. You're on to a oh, fantastic thank season. Thank you for taking the time to join us, ladies and gentlemen, your 2018 Irish Open winner, your 2018 Quebec Open, thank open you. weight winner, and also, and there is the pose. Like, you know what? I'm going to have to ask <laughs> you to do it again so everybody can see. Oh, my god! Yeah, you're on the spot. I, hard to do with both hands. I know. I can't do it with two hands. But there you go. Another yeah. awkward moment. So, ladies Thanks. and gentlemen. Thanks. <laughs> of course, I'm glad to help out. I'm going to be here for you for that. Perfect. Your grand, your, once again, your grand uh, 2018 Quebec Open Grand Champion, Elise Guerrero. Thank you so much, and Thank we will you. see you soon. Thank you.